This week, I'm replacing my front drum brakes and hardware, but I have a special helper, which is my big brother. Hi guys, welcome back to Ellie's Garage, where my dad and I, and occasionally the other two members of my family, are rebuilding a 1965 Ford Falcon to become my daily driver. But we've never done this before. <laughs> So yes, today is all about replacing my front and drum brakes, but before we get started, I just wanted to give a special thanks to Melvin's Classic Ford Parts for providing all of the bearings, wheel cylinders, seals, and grease caps for today's episode. So if you need parts for your Falcon or your Ford, check out Melvin's. Okay, so today we are completely redoing our drum brakes. Eventually we will make them into disc brakes, yeah. but that is not today. We are just trying to make them so that they function. <laughs> so we are replacing the drums, the shoes, the springs, the bearings, and... Uh, the wheel cylinders. The wheel cylinders! <laughs> I recently learned that one, so it's hard. Usually dad would be my helper and assistant during... Yeah! And though he is still behind the camera, as you can clearly see, I have a new assistant today. Drum roll, please. My brother! Yay! <laughs> this is my brother, Hi. Luke. If you have been to any of the shows that I have been to, like the Nationals, he's been there supporting me because he's awesome and I love him, kind of. So my brother is leaving for college in less than a week. So we are maximizing every second we can spend together because we're pretty much best friends. Yes. Um, so he's gonna help me fix my brakes. <laughs> so the first step is to get all the old stuff taken off and gotten rid of. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Nope. Not this time. Okay, so this is the hub which Oh, now your hands are dirty. This is the hub. Uh, since we got Carl, we have not had grease caps. That's what they're called, right? Yeah, either grease um, caps or dust caps. I don't know. One of the two. So, Carl has just been dust cap, grease cap list. So, we are going to take off the hub and replace all the bearings inside just to make sure everything's working. Um, but then we're going to look at, it'll make it a little easier to look at the rest of the break and work on that. Yeah. That kind of folded up. Hub now and give it a pull. I did it! Oh. Nice. <gasps> I remember this from the taxi. Um, my dad used to have a London taxi, which was awesome. We had to do bearings uh -huh. on it, so I know how to pack bearings and like where they sit and everything, which is really cool. How do the uh, the races feel on the inside? The the parts that those contact inside the hub, yeah. just that surface in there. Not is it smooth? supposed to be all smooth? Pretty much. What does it feel like? I found like a little like scratchy stuff. I found a pretty good mark on it. Oh, yikes. Yeah. We had hoped that we could keep the races in and not have to replace them, but unfortunately because of this, looks like we're gonna have to replace them. But we will deal with that later and we're gonna work on getting the shoes off now. Ooh. Maybe go the other way. Did absolutely nothing. Thanks, Luke. Real helpful. You're welcome. I think it's a little bit of turning and then a little, you know, you're oh, kind right. of popping it off as well. There you go. There you go. Nice that work. That was absolutely horrifying. Yeah. So we need to get this Luke. Like this. <laughs> I, you're, you're fired. Oh, gosh. Luke, do this. Okay. You press mm -hmm. and twist. Push it, yeah, you're gonna. Push that spring yes. in and twist. Yeah, you're and it, and it'll pop push off. it in really, really hard. Yeah, you're just you're pushing it and rotating. It doesn't matter which way. <laughs> oh. Nice. How'd you do Good that? Good job. Yes. Ah! Did it just shoot off? <laughs> so yeah, watch out. Keep it on there because it's, it's that's why and that's another reason why you wear uh, safety glasses. It hit my hand. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, keep it on there as it releases. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> well, you did. Yep, just pull it. There you go. The next thing we're going to get off is the brake cylinder, which we are going to replace. Um, which <laughs> means that we have to take the disconnect the brake line and cap it. 
So I can't it. turn it. Luke, push. push. Oh, hello. Like that. Mm. Maybe if I put the. I got it. There you go, just keep that up. Good job. Cylinder's out. <laughs> so we'll come back and clean up the backing plate um, before we put everything back on. Uh, but we're going to put the new um, bearings in the hub and put this line on our new... Cylinder! Yep. All right. <laughs> okay, so we are going to start with the hub. Um, the race that I was looking at it's supposed to be all smooth like this, where if you put your finger around it, like there's no seams or anything, like it's completely smooth. But clearly this one is not like that. So this is the new one for here. Um, we're gonna have to get the old ones out, but we were gonna put the new ones in the freezer because dad said that'll help the metal shrink and make it just a little bit easier to Can't hurt. <laughs> so, I mean, even if it doesn't, no harm in trying. Yeah, Luke, if you can go stick those in the freezer. Yeah. Good job! Thank Thanks, you! Luke. Nice. That's for you. Oh, thank you. Yeah! I didn't even know that was there. What? Look, it's a little, like, notch that I can fit the whole th punch on. Wait, there's a notch in there? Yeah, look. Is there one on the other side? Yeah. Oh, so that's, that's, those are notches so you can get the races out. Are there, is it the same thing on the other side of the hub? Surely. Looks like it. Awesome. I mean, we might have to put it in, uh... Ah, nice. Go loop, go loop, go loop. Nice. Good job! <laughs> I plan to do that. Push Luke. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So one of the things we were going to double check, and we were actually going to get a new one, was of this line. Um, but ours is really flexible still. Looks like it's in good condition, so we're just gonna use the old one. Uh, we just double checked that our cylinders are the same. Um, but yeah, now we're just gonna put this one. Uh, it has a little copper, copper, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Copper washer. It's just easier to turn this. Seems pretty tight. Yeah, I think it's tight. Cool! Uh, so now that we have this line on, that is done. So we are going to pack the bearings with grease. Um, and I'm gonna teach Luke how to do that before we get the races out of the freezer. Okay, so you're gonna take a little, I don't, I don't remember how much. A, a good sized block. Is that? At least that, right okay. in the palm of your okay. hand. Yeah. So, right in the palm. So go ahead and do that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now take your bearing. Right? Bearing. Yes. Uh -huh. What? Okay, so you take a little, like, on the edge almost, and you push down. And you can just keep, just take a little bit, and you push, and you push. And then do you see how it's, like, coming through all of the little... Yeah. Yeah, and then you turn it just a little bit, and, and this, you keep going. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. No, you're this good. This is what? the, um, this is, so the purpose of this is just add more grease mm -hmm. to because there's I'm assuming there's already grease in here. No, no. these are ungreased, so there's no grease in there. They're oh. just roller bearings. Mm -hmm. Did you see that Luke on hers? Oh. Uh, she keeps chipping it down. You keep going at it, keep okay. going at it, keep Do you going see, at it. Look, look, look right now. Do you see how it's coming through all the little creases? Yeah. Because I'm at still the top, going. It's it's gonna start welling up through the top of the bearing. Let me see. Well you're not getting it all the way to the top, so yeah, keep going. Okay. It, it seems yeah, just like keep going putting, hungry, have, yeah, hungry, hungry, hungry. It seems hippos. like you're doing way too much, I know. Oh, it's like this. Yeah, yeah, like that. Let's see, Luke. Yeah, coming out the top. You got it.
Okay, so Luke is getting the Reese's out of the freezer. We have all of the bearings packed because we thought if our hands were dirty, we might as well do them all. Um, so now we're going to try to put the hub back together um, by first putting in the Reese's. All right. Whoa, they are cold. Yeah, I think a lot of this. I think a lot of the energy is being absorbed okay. by the table. I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> Hit harder. I think I heard that yeah. sound change. Yeah. Can I break it? No, 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 no. no and does it look like it's even all around? It the looks same like width? it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good, Elle. That's perfect. That's really good. Yes. So you put it in like that. You're good. You hear, you hear that sound change? Yeah. Oh, yes. Hit it like two more times. Nice. Whoa. Great job, guys. So the race is went in really well. Um, now all that's left to do before we can start reassembly is to put one of the bigger bearings in the new races. Make sure it's lined up and put the new oil seal on. I'll have it once and then we'll go back. Ooh. Mm. Gotta keep after it. Huh? So how far do I put it down? Just level. I think that's it. That's it. Okay, so now it's time to get the backing plate all cleaned up. Go for it. Oh, ah. that's so cool. <laughs> Yes. Okay, there are six contact points that your your shoes sit on and they contact, okay? okay. There are only six spots. One. So, <laughs> one, two. I pointed to that and you said no. No, you pointed here. I, uh, one, two. See, no, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, six. six. So now, do they feel all relatively This one feels like flat? really indented. Oh, really? So does this one, and this one, and this one. This oh. is the only one that feels flat. Okay, so now we are- Assembly time! Reassembly. This should be fun. <laughs> um, first thing you have to do is get the shoes on. Um, but we're also... <laughs> This is the automatic um, tightener, right? Adjuster. Adjuster? Yeah. It sits 
here-ish. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. This is lined up with this hole so that you can adjust it from outside. to finally putting the dust caps on Carl, but unfortunately, we just could not get them on. I tried for a while, then Dad tried for a while, and we just couldn't get them on. Actually, as of right now when we're recording this, they are still not on our car, so if you have any tips of how to do it, leave them in the comments, and hopefully next week, we will add a little piece in the video of us putting dust caps on. <laughs> So clearly we are having some dust cap issues. Mm. So we are taking a step away from that and finishing, you know, putting the rest together, which is putting the new drum on. Um, since it's new, we're going to clean it and then we'll put it on and make sure that it's um, set correctly so that it just has a little bit of drag. now um, adjust the brakes to make sure that the wheel isn't spinning too much. Um, so Luke's behind there. Um, Hi. Hi Luke. Hi. Um, and I know about how much we have to go. So Luke, yep. um, pry up. Yay. <laughs> Just a little too tight, or loose. That's great, that's great. It was really great to have the brakes changed and adjusted, but I couldn't leave my wet walls looking so dirty. So Luke helped me clean them up just a little bit. After that, we bled the brakes on both sides because you're supposed to do that before you drive the car. And then we did a lot of backing up and stopping to let the wheels adjust themselves. Apparently the way you have to set your adjusters is by going backwards and stopping pretty hard. So that is what I'm about to do, and Luke has to come with me. All right.
Yeah, right there. Good. Nice. That seemed pretty good. It was really cool to redo the front brakes and it was kind of interesting to actually know what I was doing like with the bearings. But definitely the best part of this week was getting to hang out with my brother who is going to college and I'm very much going to miss. So what I'm taking out of the garage is that things are just more fun when you do them with your best friend slash brother. Thanks again to Melvin's Classic Ford Parts for providing all of the parts that we used in this episode. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you as always to my executive producers, Drew Carter and Kevin and Julia. Thanks for watching, consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time in the garage.